What is up YouTube? Jojo Crick here for you. So today I'm going to be talking about companions, even more news. I know, I know, um, that was my last video, but I recorded that like three days before uh, the QuakeCon footage was released, so I didn't know. And I really, and I um, uploaded it like 30 minutes before it started. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is that there's going to be 12 companions in all over all of Fallout 4, um, which I think is good because that's more than Fallout New Vegas and uh, Fallout 3, but you can only have one companion at a time, said Todd Howard. I don't know if that means one human and one non-human, like in Fallout New Vegas, like you could have Rex and Boone, or it's just one. I think that it's the latter option because it looked like Dogmeat had really devastating attacks, like it knocked a feral ghoul on the ground and it just started chewing him up, and that seemed like a really good attack. And you can get perks for specific ah, companions, it looks so like. Dogmeat and Codsworth, I Preston guess? Garvey, and a girl named Piper. Those were all the companions we know so far. I'll have more on the last two in a bit, because we already know everything we need to know about the first you know two from my last video. I looked at the whole in Fallout 4, you can romance your companions, no matter the gender. But it does seem like you can't romance them. Um, non-humans. Um, this seems like a lot like Mass Effect in the way that you can rom that romance was actually a pretty big part of the game. Like in Mass Effect you can romance uh, almost every one of your uh, companions that comes with you and and it, you had pretty meaningful relationships. Like I actually cared about the people that I romanced with. So I'm gonna be talking about Piper now. Piper is a tomboy who you meet outside of Fenway Park and she will get you in to the Fenway Park, but her boss is not happy with it. More details, hopefully he's coming at Gamescom. Preston Garvey, if that name sounds very familiar, it's because he's the leader of the Boston Minutemen, which is hopefully a prominent faction in Fallout 4. One last side note, my favorite companion so far is Codsworth. I love the idea of having a robot as a companion. It just seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. Please post your ideas in the comments down below. I love talking to you guys. Thank you for watching. This has been Jojo Crick.